Club Express, Advanced Content Editor Overview. In a number of places within Club Express, you have the opportunity to create custom web pages or part of a page. For example, when you're building the website's homepage or when you're specifying custom web pages. Instead of forcing you to learn complex HTML coding, Club Express makes it easy to build this page using a software tool called the Content Editor. That's similar to a word processor. There are several functions in Club Express, for example, when defining survey questions or when posting messages in discussion forums that use a limited version of the content editor that surface a subset of the editor tools, only those necessary for that particular task. In this video, we'll focus on the full advanced content editor that allows you to perform a wide variety of tasks for creating web pages. Also, this video is an overview of the editor letting you know the kinds of things you can do. The administrator's guide and some upcoming videos will go into detail on how to accomplish each task. In addition to having control over formatting text and images, you can insert links to other Club Express modules, external websites, and email, insert quick polls, slideshows, events, social media feeds, and weather reports. You can use your computer's clipboard, including cut, copy, and paste. You can insert group boxes, special characters, and emoticons, which are small graphics designed to display an emotion. You can convert text to lowercase, uppercase, superscript or subscript, and spell check your text. You can create complex styles to explicitly control the appearance of your text, and in particular, create formatting that is fully responsive to mobile devices. You can view your page in design mode, HTML mode, or preview mode, zoom the text for finer control, print the text being edited, and track word and character counts. More experienced web designers can view and modify the underlying HTML code created when you edit pages with this tool. Experienced designers can also apply styles to control the appearance of various elements on the page and insert JavaScript to automate more complex effects. Let's take a look at an existing custom web page with some content. An admin or coordinator can edit the page either by clicking on the edit icon in the page tools widget when viewing a page or by selecting it from the listing after clicking on custom pages in the website tab of the control panel. When you open the content editor, a pop-up window appears. At the top of the screen is a single toolbar of buttons representing the most common formatting and content controls. Clicking the last icon on this toolbar displays a second toolbar with more advanced actions. Hovering your mouse over each icon displays what each button does. We'll come back to the behavior of each button shortly. Underneath the toolbar is the Edit panel, where you type text, highlight blocks, manipulate images and widgets, and perform other edit functions. At the bottom of the Edit area is another toolbar with View functions and a word and character count. Below that is a Document Inspector function. This line shows you the hierarchy of the HTML elements in the selected text. In this example, the cursor is positioned in the middle of one of the cells and it shows the nested elements leading to the cursor position. If you select one of the elements, the system will highlight that element. For example, click the TR entry in a table and the whole row is highlighted. You can also click the Remove Element option to remove the preceding element, in this case, a font specification. When the editor opens, it is in design mode where your page is shown as a view that includes the editing tools. HTML mode is where more experienced web designers can view and modify the underlying HTML code created when you edit pages. Preview mode shows how the pages will appear. Note that some page items like poll widgets only load their data when the page has been saved and viewed normally, not when viewed in the editor. In design view, there's a zoom selector that lets you change the magnification of the page so it's easier to make very delicate formatting changes. There's also a button that lets you print the current page's design view. The editor window can be repositioned and dragged to be wider or longer, and the editor will resize automatically to fit the new window. You can also click the Maximize icon in the top right corner of the window to maximize it to the full size of your active browser view pane. You click Save to save your changes or Cancel to discard them. You'll be asked to confirm a cancel operation. Both buttons close the current window and return you to the previous screen. Note that you should save your work every 15 to 20 minutes to make sure you maintain the currently logged in session. 
If you don't do this, the system may close the active session and you risk losing all of your work. This session timeout varies on your level of access. For administrators, it's 60 minutes. The system will give you a warning approximately five minutes before a session is due to expire. On the right side is the page building sidebar with two tabs. One is for inserting rows and one is for inserting predefined widgets. The sidebar can be hidden at any time to allow greater width in the editor. To show the sidebar, just click on this toolbar button. The first tab allows you to insert specially formatted page rows. Different combinations of columns and widths are available, as well as options to float images to the left or right of text. Rows can be inserted anywhere, for example, into other rows to form more complex layouts. We strongly recommend that you use these page rows for all content on the page. They will ensure that your content is properly formatted for and responsive to mobile devices. So although in the past it was common to use HTML tables for general page formatting, tables should now only be used to present tabular data. When you make a selection from the list, a row is inserted into the edit area with the desired format. The panel is shown with two boxes of dashed lines. These boxes will not be displayed when you save the page. You enter content into the inner box. The outer box represents 10 pixels of padding on all sides of your content. A blank line is also entered above and below the new panel, allowing you to position the cursor so that you can add more rows or enter content that does not need to be in a row. This page has several rows, each with its own column layout. The current page row is highlighted. When more than one row has been added to the page, new icons appear on the side panel to move the current row up or down or to delete it. You should not try to delete the outer and inner boxes since they control the edit area's responsiveness. If you don't want a specific row, cut and paste its content to a different part of the page and then click the delete icon to remove the row. Note that when you edit, older existing custom pages that have not been updated to use this responsive container model, we place the page's content within a one box, 100% width container. This does not affect the original content of the page. Many editor functions work on a block of text that has been highlighted by dragging the mouse cursor over the text. The editor also supports drag and drop to move highlighted text from one part of the page to another. Many of the toolbar functions use the same icon and perform the same functions as a typical word processor. Hover your mouse over each button for the name and any shortcut key for each function. I have already clicked the Show Hide Additional Functions button to open the second row of buttons. Note that there are buttons and keystrokes to undo and redo changes. Let's take a look at what the buttons do to format some existing text. You can select the text style, font, size, and color. You can specify bold, italic, and underline attributes. You can select the background color, specify left, center, right, or fully justified text. You can specify numbered or bulleted lists. You can indent and outdent, convert text to upper or lower case, convert to superscript or subscript, or you can strip formatting from text. And you can spell check your text. Now let's take a look at inserting content into the page. You can use your computer's clipboard, including cut, copy, and paste. Note that the system will block attempts to paste an image copied to the clipboard, perhaps from within a word processing document. Sometimes, content copied into the clipboard from source materials, such as documents and web pages, contains formatting that's not suited to your page. A common way to clean the text is to copy the text into the clipboard, then paste it into a text editor, such as Notepad, which removes all of the formatting, and then recopy the text from Notepad and paste it into your content. You can insert horizontal lines, special characters, and emoticons. They're small graphics designed to display an emotion. So much for the obvious items. Let's look at some of the other buttons. You can embed videos, for example, from YouTube. You can insert links, 
to other Club Express features and pages or to external websites and email. You can insert and specify the properties of tables and individual cells. You can insert and resize images and photographs. You can insert group boxes. And you can even create complex custom styles to explicitly control the appearance of your text. Now let's take a look at inserting widgets. On the page building sidebar, there's a tab that lists the various widgets that you can add to the page. Club Express supports several widgets that can be inserted wherever the editor is used, including the page header, common content boxes, the home page, custom web pages, and other places. These include a quick poll, a slideshow, a widget for upcoming events, one for news and articles, a Facebook feed, Twitter feed, a weather widget, an accordion widget, a list of new or recently renewed members, and a list of recent blog posts. As new widget types are added, they'll be available in this sidebar. Let's take a look at these widgets. You can insert a quick poll where members select one radio button as their vote and then can immediately view the results of all votes cast so far. You can insert a slideshow that's based on a photo album. So before you insert a slideshow, you must first create a photo album and add the photos you want to it. Slideshows work much better when all photos are the same size, so take some care in picking photos or crop them to the same size before adding them. You can insert a list of upcoming events. You specify how many days out to look and optionally choose the event categories to include. Note that multiple event widgets can be placed on the page. For example, you might have one listing upcoming writing events and another listing upcoming education events, each based on different categories. The Insert News Articles item lets you paste a news item or article into the current editor session. Many clubs and associations use the News Articles function to collect and organize small articles for republishing on the homepage, in event reports, or in blast emails. You might use this option when you're building out the homepage of your website or in a blast email comprising a series of articles written by other officers or club experts. Note that the inserted text is statically inserted. It's not linked back to the original and won't be updated if the original is updated. Inserting a Facebook feed places a dynamic panel showing your club's or some other Facebook feed within a page of your website. If your club has already defined its Facebook page under social networking, this page will be shown automatically. If not, you just enter the page name. Note that this widget only shows posts from the last 60 days. You also need to set its visibility to international to remove country restrictions and visible to anyone 13 years and older. These are Facebook requirements. Similarly, inserting a Twitter feed places a dynamic panel showing the feed based on the Twitter username. Note that the Twitter feed requires JavaScript to be enabled, which it should be by default, but some clubs do turn it off. Inserting a weather widget requires that you enter the latitude and longitude and the location title. This weather widget can be used on both the public and private sides of the website. Inserting an accordion widget lets you create panels with headings that can be expanded or collapsed to show or hide content. It's often used to reduce the length of a page by hiding content that only some people may need to see. You can insert up to five panels and control the title's font, size, color, background color, and arrow style. The editor inserts some placeholder text that you then replace with your own content. Normally the panels butt up against each other, but you can also have the system insert a blank line between them by checking the appropriate box in the configuration. When you save the page, the accordion is initially displayed collapsed and you click the arrow to expand it and show the hidden content. Click the arrow again to rehide it. You can insert a new or renewing members list. You specify whether you want the list to contain new or renewing members and how many days back the system should look. When you save the editor session, the widget generates a list of new or renewing members sorted alphabetically by last name. The list is sensitive to the visibility settings in the member directory. If a new or recently renewed member has chosen not to be visible in the directory, he or she will not be in this list. Also, please note that this list does not update in real time. A member who has just signed up or renewed will not be displayed in the list until the next morning. 
And finally, you can insert a list of recent blog posts for one or all of your site's blogs. The list displays the name of the blog, the titles and dates of the post, and the titles linked to the actual blog posts. So you can see that the Advanced Content Editor gives you a wide range of tools for adding content to your web pages, events, emails, and other Club Express functions. Take a look at your Club Express Administrator Manual, which is available on the Support tab of your Control Panel, for details on configuring and using some of the more intricate features, for example, to learn more about tables or custom styles. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.